Here's our 2021 Peterbilt 337 rollback tow truck flatbed. First off, before I forget my tape measure on the back here, I have the uh, tape measure spread out or measured out. We're 22 feet three and a half inches to here, but the overall bed length is 24 feet to the front of the bed. It is a stationary light pylon. The light pylon does not move. And the width of the bed You know, from the outside edge to outside edge is 102 inches, we'll say thereabouts, just shy of. And then between the bed rails, we're looking at about 97 and a half inches. Um, deck height. Of course, I'm on uneven ground here, so this isn't going to be exact. Deck height, about 41 and a half inches. And right now the airbags are inflated, so we can blow the bags and it'll reduce um, the height of the rear. And like I say, I, I am on uneven ground here. But back here we're at about 39 inches off the ground, but you blow the bags, you lose a few inches there. So that's what I can tell you about uh, the bed, or so far that. I just want to get the tape measure up before I forget it. So this truck came to us, uh, I believe it was from Omaha, Nebraska. It was involved in, uh, in an accident there that damaged the hood and the front bumper. The hood and the front bumper both are original Packard brand new parts. The bumper alone was about $4,000. The hood was, if I remember right, about $8,000. Uh, brand new parts, Packard original, uh, not aftermarket crap or anything like that. We had brand new oil filters, fuel filters, all of that's been gone through just for safekeeping. It got brand new cooling as well. So all of the cooling is brand new. There was no frame damage, no damage to the engine. Uh, both front tires um, had a little bit of uh, uh, they were still inflated. They weren't damaged, but they were basically kind of damaged. Or they weren't popped, I should say. But some of the tread was peeled off of them. I don't know if they were just crap tires or what they were. Um, but we did have two brand new front tires installed. So front tires are brand spanking new. Again, all the cooling pack here is brand new, not used at all. That's all new. And nothing here was touched at all. <clears throat> no frame damage or anything like that going back. Apologize, it's a little dirty here. It's spring in a gravel driveway. So, a couple things to note on this truck. First off, when the hood was hit it was hit on this side the hood was pushed back into here so this is bent over just a little bit right there um, this fender extension was also replaced and then you can see the fuel tank has got a couple dents in it and then the bottom step is damaged top step is fine bottom step is damaged um, we do have a step for it uh, but we don't have a fuel tank for it. Holds fuel just fine, no problem. 70 gallon, I believe, fuel tank. Um, yes, 70 gallon fuel tank, and I believe there's another 70 gallon fuel tank on the other side. Again, they're not leaking fuel or anything along those lines. Go ahead and... Put our hood down. Brand new headlights. Brand new tranny cooler there. Of course, it's got air ride, air brakes.
here you can see this is kind of pushed in a little bit right there. Um, you know, if you had a right equipment or something, maybe you could grab onto it here and pull it out a little bit if you really wanted to. It's not really that noticeable. I am going to, actually, while I think about it here, go ahead and hit all of our lights on. The uh, truck originally came with four lights here in the grill. However, the grill obviously is <coughs> brand new. We didn't get the lights for the grill because we, we honestly don't use the lights here in our shop whatsoever. So they were there. There are fog lights up underneath. Got lights here, red and white. Work lights there. The lights up on top are all amber. You see that light there? It looks like it's not working. You know, that work light there is, the work light here is. Looks like our corner lights aren't flashing. I guess I didn't know that either that or I don't have a, a correct button in, or flicked in there, but I think I pressed them all. Work lights on the bed, work lights up on top, they all work. And no, I was wrong, 50 gallon fuel tank here. So 50 gallons on this side, 70 on the other total of 120 gallons for those that can't do math. We've got two long fuel boxes. Just for time sakes, I'm not going to fully move the bed and everything. It all bed all works just fine. We've been using it as our shop truck here for about the last year. We don't put on a lot of miles, um, but in all reality, we don't need a big truck this size. It is pretty dirty yet. Red and blue lights here. If you need information that I can't give you in this video, it's a 16,000 pound bed and there is the VIN number for the, uh, or the serial number for the bed itself. Uh, we have brand new batteries installed. Again, new oil change, uh, fuel filters. Um, basically a tune-up gone through on the truck. And I do not have, obviously, the idle up, so the bed is moving a little slower than it normally would. We, we installed a brand new cable on this truck. It's a 100 foot 3 8 uh, fiber core cable. Um, the truck will come and it's over here. Actually, I have something else to show you that I forgot. So we have a spare cable. It's the larger one. I, I don't know if it's a 7 16 cable, I believe it is, or half inch cable. Uh, somewhere we have a cable, um, but it's much shorter. It's a uh, a little bit longer than the length of the bed. I want to say it's about a, I know it's supposed to be 50 foot, but I think it's actually shorter than 50. I think it's uh, like a 40 foot cable. So I don't know if it broke and they shortened it up or whatever it may be. But the truck does have an air hose reel on it if you want to run air tools. <coughs> of course, all of the equipment in here does not come with the truck except for the air hose reel. controls on both sides um, when we bought the truck somebody at the auction stole the wheel lift grids from us or off this truck anyway at the auction so we had to buy brand new wheel lift grids so they are brand new I will um, go out here with the wheel lift and down just so you can see a little bit more this does have the ice kit to it, so you can flip these over if you want to do recovery and pullouts and whatnot. L arms.
Um, the cable will come with the truck. The V chain does not. That is our shop chain. The wheel lift rating is here. Rear tire treads. Up open this toolbox. Yeah, I do not know where the cable is. There is a cable floating around here somewhere. If we can find it, it's yours, but I guess since the cable's not in here, one of the guys might have thrown it away. Um, so don't require us to have, I mean, like I say, it's about a 40 foot half inch long or half inch diameter cable it's much thicker um, and it's really hard to pull out of this wench this is the wench again brand new cable on it <coughs> this side here no damage We'll go up here. I'm gonna shut our PTO off and all of our lights. So we have our suspension airbag dump here, rear diff lock here. Of course, this is just another PTO button. Um, I believe this is a regen. Not sure. <coughs> of course, our cruise controls menu. Currently there's 103,028 miles on this truck. The truck's been running now for about 20 minutes ever since I started it up to make this video. Um, another nice feature of this truck, it does have the air operated uh, wireless remote control for the wench. So you can control the wench um, from the remote in case you're doing like recoveries or something along those lines. There's lots of anchor points in this bed. Looks like you got four along the front here. I mean, not counting the ones in the corner. And then, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like there's 24, uh, I forget what they call those, but 24 points in the bed for anchoring. 16,000 pound bed, 24, 26,000 pound gross vehicle weight truck. Everything in the truck is smooth as far as the engine goes. Uh, shifting in the transmission, of course, none of that stuff was ever touched or damaged or anything. We did put a new serpentine belt on the engine just because we were in there anyways, and they're only a few bucks. Steering's, you know, true. Obviously, with these big trucks, they all. You know, they don't drive like a, a brand new Cadillac, if you will.
So my camera has a digital camera here, and sometimes with these digital displays, sometimes they flicker when they're recording, kind of like when you take a picture of a TV. I promise it's not actually doing that in real life. It's just the way a video camera, see, I can tell the radio's doing it. It's not actually doing that in real life. Got two sets of keys for it. Of course, you know, our lovely air horn works. Everything works. This truck was also inspected by the state of Minnesota, so it cleared the salvage title and it now carries a Minnesota prior salvage title. So basically what that means is it'll transfer into your state without any issues whatsoever. <laughs> you shouldn't need any, if you will, salvage inspections whatsoever, as that's already been done. But obviously you might need a DOT inspection for your state, depending upon what you're doing and your state laws are. But uh, so you might... Uh, of course, if you're buying this truck, you probably know all about DOT inspections anyway. So again, we bought this truck roughly about a year ago. It's been in our shop tr truck ever since. Um, we just don't need something this big by any means. It's a great truck. Just way too much overkill for us. We never haul anything big or heavy or long. Um, it's, just, it's just not what we need. Uh, we picked this up at auction. We thought it would be uh, a, a good fit for us. Um, but unfortunately, it, it just does not fit in our shop. And we had to get a smaller truck that will fit in our shop. We never did any recovery with the truck by any means. Um, we're not a towing company. All we do is just sell cars, basically moving cars um, between our lot and the auction. Uh, that's, that's all we do. Part of my phone ringing here. Now I hit the gas pretty good. I guess it's the accelerator pedal, as this is obviously a diesel engine. Truck drives nice, true, straight. Doesn't ride like a lumber wagon, if you will. Um, of course, like I say, it's got air ride, air brakes. Now, as far as asking, uh, asking us questions about this truck, I mean, feel free to ask us, but if you're going to ask me any questions um, relating to Peterbilt or the building of this truck originally, I do not have the answers for that. <coughs> we did not obviously buy this truck brand new. Um, I don't know things like, I don't, 
features or whatever other than what I pointed out in this video. So if you want to know if this truck is built a certain way or if it has certain options, please contact Peterbilt with the VIN number and ask them for a build sheet of the truck uh, if you would like. Um, we've done our best here to show you every option that I can. We will provide in the pictures. Um, the door stickers here that are in the door jam showing like the rear end gear ratio. Um, the model number of the engine, I mean, all I know is it's a Packard engine. I don't know the horsepower of it. I don't know how much torque it has. Um, you may want to know things like how many miles per gallon have we averaged with it. Here again, we don't do long trips by any means. Um, it, we're just doing quick trips here and there, five-mile trips. Um, but we've noticed this truck to get, depending upon the temperature outside, anywhere from 11 to 13 miles per gallon. So this is going to conclude our test drive as I'm almost back here now. As always, if you have any questions, please send us an email. Um, we just don't have time for phone calls. We're never in the office. Uh, we, you know, we will respond if you send us an email. But, you know, hopefully you watch this video and all your questions are answered up front. Um, we're just, we're never in our office. We're always out running to the auction, picking up vehicles, moving them around, meeting with sellers and transport companies and this, that, and the other thing. So we're rarely ever in the office to answer phone calls. So here again, if you have any questions, send us an email and we will respond to the best of our ability, usually within minutes. So that's about it. That's, uh, I think that's about all that I can tell you about the truck. All I can show you. Um, do the buttons one more time here just so you can see what it has, what it doesn't. Here again the radio. Usually if I hold the camera right up to it, it doesn't do that. But apparently it's not going to stop doing it on my display at all. But I promise it's not doing that in real life. everything in the truck works um, actually the only thing that doesn't work is when you have the right blinker on and you go all the way over and then back the right blinker will auto shut off the left blinker sometimes does not automatically shut off when you bring the wheel back so sometimes you just you got to shut the left blinker off automatically uh, other than that that's that's it uh, truck runs great it's been a great truck for us if you have any questions again, send us an email. Thank you very much and have a good day.